All right, brown belts, welcome to Lian Wu Zhang, the practice of the five palms. This form, or Tao Lu or Kata, is nicknamed whirling palm because the movements of the form cause your body to whirl around during the performance of the form. In my opinion, the techniques and the fighting theories of Lian Wu Zhang are extremely crucial to have if you want to be a good fighter and if you want to spar well. So later on when you guys see the fighting application of the moves, you will be amazed at how well they work in the fight. But for now, I want you to memorize part one, part two, part three, part four, get the whole form down on your own, be able to practice it in different environments, and once you've got it mentally, then by that time, we'll begin uploading the fighting applications. You can get a partner and you can practice how to fight with Lian Wu Zhang with your partner. It's going to be important with Lian Wu Zhang to practice the art of flow and the art of power, having yin and yang. This form has highs and lows. It's not all one speed. You're gonna to have to have some parts where you're smooth and some parts where you're powerful and I'll tell you which parts are which right here in this instructional series. So without further ado, let's stretch out. Maybe do one of the Shao Li highs, one of the little fierces, one of the mini workouts right now. Get your blood pumping. And I'll see you guys back here for section one of Lian Wu Zhang. We're standing at attention. And section one begins with a bow to the sides or a traditional Chinese bow, whatever one you fancy. Come back and drop down. And this is a empty hand style of Chinese Kung Fu, not an animal style. So we want to stay human-like on this one. Regal, good posture, and powerful stances and powerful legs. The first move is to a cat stance. We step to left side forward cat and inhale and gather energy from the earth and from the heavens above. Exhale, let the energy come inside our body. We hear something to the left. What is it? I don't know. Let's go find out. Cat stance to the left. Block out and breathe in this way. Now, we breathe in and we're gathering. So now it's time to step forward and do an explosive right hand side hand strike with the fifth metacarpal, the pinky side of the hand. So breathe in. Exhale, step forward, and explosively deliver that side hand. So right side forward, both stance. Now from there, we're gonna shift to horse stance. Lift the hands up right here with the hands like this. Can you guys see? High horse stance. From there, I drop down to low horse stance. Left hand blocks high, right hand chops down as I sink. So again, that was from the side hand. I went high and then sink, chop, and block. One more time. From here, high, my palms facing back. Sink, chop, and block. Boom, and I flip the left hand out. Then from there, I gather in. I back sweep my opponent and give them a stiff elbow right against the chest. Same time. This is a back sweep and stiff elbow. From there, turn toward the right leg and back fist down this way. Step forward and side hand straight here. Now it's where the form gets its nickname, whirling palm. I'm going to cross my right leg behind, take my left side, whirl around like this, left hand. Once I get halfway around, the right hand clears underneath and continues. Lock out. Step forward and side hand once again. Pah! We're going to call that section one. Watch this again, the instructional part, and then go to the back view to see me do it full speed from the back from the other angle. Alright guys, section one ended with that side hand right here. So now we have to put energy into this back leg and give our opponent in front of us a stiff inside smash or an inside crescent kick right across the face or blocking their arms out of the way. So from here, my right leg, the back one, goes inside crescent kick. 
and then from that position I slide forward and go X block high with the side hands facing the heavens, 45 degrees up, right side forward. From there I cross behind once again, whirl around, left hand blocks, block out this way, then step forward and right hand side hands, bang, this way, and this other hand pulls in to like the lung one where the deltoid and chest meet right there. From that position, I change from right side bow to left side bow and face behind me. Turn this way, cross. Now circle my hands clockwise right here. Clockwise circle, retreat back to cat stance and posture right here. Left hand is palm down, right hand is palm up, creating a nice circular shape right here in a cat stance. Then kick the person right the chin, underneath the chin. From that kick, I then put the foot down, I step to the right side, and I'm gonna go sweep left, land, sweep right and elbow across. And that move right there confuses most of my students for days. Let's do it again. We just did the side hand right, we covered, we circled back to cat stance and created that circular shape. Now again, I go front kick, put it down. Okay, it's very important. Front kick left, put down left. Now jump to the right leg. Left leg does a front sweep. Then right leg does a hopping back sweep as I elbow across somebody's chest with the stiff elbow. Again. Side hand right, turn cover, circle back, create that shape. Front kick, put it down, jump to the right, front sweep, back sweep, stiff elbow. Now from there, turn, double finger jab somebody, right to the throat or eyes. Grab them by the neck, so we're jabbing in, grabbing on, and we're gonna thrust kick them back into that lake over there. Thrust kick. Come down, side hand. Another inside crescent kick. Another X block. But now we use the power of the turn to throw an epic left side hand. So watch, cross behind, spin, boom, left side hand. And that's gonna end section two right there. Watch it again, and like I always say, you guys are learning with me here in a video format, a digital format. It's always easier to learn face to face in person. There's energy that humans emit out of their body. When you're in my class, I'm able to sense your energy and teach you according to you. So because we're on video, you guys out there in YouTube land, in the online school land, get to stay patient. Take a deep breath. And you may have to watch this 10 times to get it. And once you do, go right now to the back view and watch it full speed from the back, section two. Section two ended by spinning around and using the power of that spin to throw a really nice left side hand. So now section three begins by again circling back clockwise with both hands, come into cat, transition to jade ring stance and posture low here. Left palm down, right palm out, and we're in jade ring stance. Which is basically a lunge, knee one inch off the ground. From there, the opponent's over here. So I leap to my left, and do a spinning double smash just like Lohan or short form number 30 and kick him over there, that guy. Come down out of the double smash, left side forward and block left, grab left, pivot my left foot and grab right. So I have somebody's wrist and shoulder. Sweep them off their feet. I missed the sweep, they lifted their leg up. They knew it was coming but they didn't know the second back sweep was coming. So now I spin around, grab them again, back sweep them down. So just make sure we have that. The beginning of section three from here is circle back in, jade ring, double smash the guy, 
this way, or girl, come down, block left, grab, capture and pull in, front sweep right, spin, back sweep left. Okay? From there, side hand left again. Circle clockwise, but now your right leg comes up to a cat stance. Hold their arm and chop them down this way. So I'm holding somebody's wrist, chopping their elbow, and I've got them held while their buddy's over there, and I front kick their buddy right in the face. And do the exact same move as section two hat. Put the foot down, jump to the left. Now front sweep right, jump back sweep left, and stiff elbow. Now from there I turn to the left and I go block up one. Cross in front. Block with cross right here. Cover ourselves, cover hard. Number three, block up. Cover four. Number five, block up. Block out, capture, grab. Same as before, front sweep right, spin, back sweep left, and side hand. I know that's a lot, but you guys are brown belts now. You guys have graduated, not just physically, but mentally into the intermediate section of Chinese Gong Fu. So that section is mentally challenging, but guess what? You guys have control over your old man, Jake Mace, right there. You can watch it again and again and again until you get it. Once you get it, go to the back view and watch me do the full section, full speed. When you have it mentally in your brain, I'm gonna go over there right now.